Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, uh, FR2 uh, is an ordinance, and an ordinance uh, that was placed in the agenda along with uh, two more pieces of legislation uh, regarding uh, a media tower. After uh, a long conversations uh, with the city attorney's office, uh, an expert on the field from the planning department, the zoning departments, uh, it's important to note that, first of all, uh, we don't know what is a media tower. Uh, and we have to understand what is a media tower. The second, uh, the media tower as presented uh, in the renderings or in the papers uh, does not exist in any of the language of signage in the code of the city of Miami. Uh, recently, uh, the day before yesterday, uh, the PCAB uh, discussed the issue and approved uh, one piece of legislation and rejected uh, another piece of legislation. After uh, conversations again with the city attorney, I believe that uh, if FR2 is approved and put into motion, will have unintended consequences because we will prolong uh, in the courts a, a battle that could be solved by later on, if you consider, uh, approving PC uh, 17. So uh, to avoid this prolonged battle and to do it faster and cleaner, I really believe that uh, PC 17, and this is in the afternoon, I understand that uh, we cannot talk about this today. Uh, you have to, uh, this morning, so you have to do it later on, and we'll discuss that later on. Uh, we'll do the work that uh, FR2 uh, was supposed to do. So I'm respectfully asking uh, the City Commission to allow me to withdraw uh, FR2 and recommend that, uh, first of all, we have fundamental questions. What is a media tower? We, I, I, I have been trying to uh, find a definition and it does not exist. It's just signs and size of the signs. And that size has not been ever incorporated in the code. And second is for the commission to decide eventually if we want media tower at all in the city of Miami. I think that uh, on, on my case, uh, on that uh, magnitude, the response should be no. But that's up to uh, different agencies that are dealing with this issue in terms of planning and zoning the CRA. But uh, I really believe that uh, by bringing to you FR2, what we are going to do is we're going to create a debate in court uh, whether or not that applicant is vested or not vested or the media tower. I really believe that the faster way is uh, to uh, PC17, which eliminates completely uh, that uh, media tower uh, or sign um, or building uh, from the code of the city of Miami. So, uh, Mr. I am Mayor, I'm sorry. I just wanted to advise the the commission and yourself that um, it, it has been past practice that when it is your item, you can unilaterally withdraw it. It doesn't necessarily have to go before a motion, but I know you're explaining your reasoning and everything, but I just wanted no, to... No, I, I just wanted to explain because I know that there's going to be a conversation to, mm -hmm. in uh, the city commission level when you discuss uh, PC-17 or PC-16. Uh, my, my preference, as I said, is to follow the path of the PCAB, but uh, this time I'm just uh, withdrawing... FR2. Okay.